Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, yeah, I like to stand on the chair. So, uh, oh. well, I was actually, I was going to make a video on the Shepherd Formation, and that's the uh, 1.6 million to recent formation that's up north. But uh, I was just having a look at this. So, because I'm going blind, I need glasses. If I can, uh, yeah, just reduce what I've got. So, oh, oh, where did that go? Okay, yep. Yeah, so I stuffed that up. I'm really, sometimes I'm a ninny. Okay, so what we have here is we have the geological formations that are in Victoria. So this does not seem to be in order, but <clears throat> if we just expand these lists, um, it's got the scribe, scribe mentioned. <clears throat> so uh, we have the initial person who actually described it. So these will be papers. Okay, start number. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the start number is. Uh, stratigraphic name. So it's the name of the formation. And sometimes these are actually previously named. So we got the <coughs> Addiscott formation, which was the Addiscott Greywack. Most of them, uh, they've either <clears throat> Aberfield Basalt, the same. Okay, Archeron Volcanics, Archeron Group, because obviously it, <clears throat> it includes other types of rocks. And some of them are just recently described. So these ones I don't know. Albertan seam A or B seam, C seam. They're probably cold meshes. And then we have the Albertan cold meshes. So it looks like Thompson in 1982 described the Albertan cold meshes. And Holgate in 2021 has expanded on that idea. Okay. And then you got Albury Nice. I've not seen the Albury Nice, but <clears throat> where would you actually look up that formation? So uh, here we have 1 to 250 geological maps. So this is all split. So there are also other geological maps, like if we bring up the Ballarat one, it's going to open up. So we've got the yeah, so we have Ballarat over here, Ballarat Skipton, and <clears throat> this one sort of corresponds with it. So we've got Ballarat Skipton. So we've got Ballarat up here, and it goes in Skipton. But this one is just called the Ballarat Geological Map, and this one's probably in inches. One, two, Okay, so now we're back. And we've got like Barnby, we've got like Windery. So, uh, what were we talking about before? Talking about 
Okay. Albury, nice. So, well, we need to use this. Where's Albury? Albury, Wodonga. So we need, here we go. We've got our rat. It says Albury. So we need to go to map 19. And a lot of the maps, so there's actually two of these PDFs. So you got 31 to 57. So 31's marriage bar. And the one we're on now is 1 to 30. So it goes from Lindsay Wentworth to the Grampians Ararat. Obviously, um, the only is about half the Grampians, a lot of some of it's down below on map 39. So not all of these correspond with the other geological maps, like number 12, you can't actually get that geological map. Uh, they just don't have it on their site because most of it's probably just a shepherd and formation. Okay, so well, we need to go 12 and then 19. So, as you can see, a lot of these, uh, when you have a look at it, they do have some of the formations, the older ones, a lot of the recent deposits they haven't named. So, like QL1. It's got lunette deposits, and that's obviously in the lake there. So, Big Desert National Park. If we go down to 12, all of this geology is pretty simple. Just got sand. QXM. So, this is this big green area that is Molinu sand. So, this is all pretty much. Probably just derived from the previous ocean that used to exist, or uh, I've never actually read anything about that formation. So a lot of these formations are quite small. I've not read anything about them, and it's actually a bit hard to get information about what they are. In WL, Oxton Sands, and in WS. Which is over here. That's the Shepherd and Formation. That's the uh, alluvial deposits. I think Luxton Sands is uh, more like another type of uh, riverine deposit. Okay, so we're going to number 12. So as you can see, this contains the Murray River. So the Murray River is on the border between New South Wales and Victoria in WS so most of it's actually shepherd and formation with a lot of uh, quaternary swamp and alluvium so QA1 here is alluvium so this has been deposited by the actual river that's currently flowing through it and I don't know what that river is Obviously, a lot of these rivers are not named. This is the Murray. And they do have uh, all the major roads and the towns. We we up. Up here we have ooh, a lot of towns with indigenous Australian names. Gunawara. Yeah, Karang. Uh, East. And... Yeah, so quite a lot of uh, actual deposits. And obviously they don't include the New South Wales sides because the, it was composed in Victoria. So obviously they're saying, oh, we don't care. And here we have the first granites. So Pyramid Hill Granite near Cal Swamp. And that will be Devonian. So that's the oldest deposit on this page. All the other ones are pretty recent. No, two million years or less. Okay, so that's 12. And we wanted to go down to... Number, was it 19, was it? Okay, we've got Echuca. So most of Echuca is. So this is what I wanted to see. The Shepherd and Formation. So a lot of this does have... Uh, up towards the Murray, it's about 125 metres. Down towards where it 
the Ordovician and uh, Silurian rock come through as well. Some Cambrian, green stone belt. So this just goes down Heathcote. Down here, uh, a lot of this has ch canals gone through it. So where you see a river that is straight, like here in Pine Grove. So over here, uh, this is all artificial watercourse. Obviously, this watercourse is natural. And over here towards Mit Mitiap, never even heard of it, uh, east of uh, Mount Terek. Terek. So that's actually a granite outcrop. Also, Devonian. Uh, obviously, it's a lot harder than the actual Silurian rock. So, as the Shepparton, so the Shepparton formation has been built up beside that. And it says Echuca there. That's not Echuca. That's uh, just the road. Echuca Mitamo Road. And Echuca's over here. It's on the Shepparton formation as well. Okay, so I think it's the next one we want. So, uh, is this the Aubrey, the Donga? No, that's the Shepparton. Oh, here's 19. So we were after a nice. So if you go down here, you can probably pick up nice. So all the ones in pinks and reds are granites and they're Devonian. All of these are Devonian. Uh, and there's a whole suit of different types of granites and granodiorites. And then we have older rocks of Silurian. Just says Omeo Metamorphic Complex. Okay, so Omeo Metamorphic Complex and Ice. SOG. And then we've got some schist, migmatite. Do we have any other nice? Okay, we've got sandstones, former conglomerates, uh, sub basaltic sediments, shepherd and formation cell. This is pretty much recent in yellow. Then we've got Permian, so it's a conglomerate. That would be, so this one here, uh, it would be, yeah, it's Permian. There you go. So, being Permian rock, it's probably a derived from glacial action. And then we got Whitelands Volcanic Group. And, uh, so, and then, so, obviously, different types of volcanics. Whereabouts is that? P U W. And it's an orange colour. So, cool. Any of the orange colours. PXO, PUW, PA. And obviously they seem to be quite small because I don't see... They're a bit hard to find. So when they're a bit hard to find, there's probably not much exposure. Do, do, do. Is that it? PXO? Yeah, so over here we have uh, yeah, the actual conglomerate. So that's, yeah, the freeway goes right through it. But I'm not too sure if you can actually. Uh, so, do Wangaratta. So you're going over to Murray. So pretty much this is on the New South Wales side. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's on the Victorian side still, sorry. I, I was thinking of Wodonga. Albury Wodonga. So, it's on the way to Albury Wodonga. Okay, and, yeah, I wanted to look for the actual nice. So, SOG. So, Silurian. Omeo. Nice. That's what that stands for, and I'm expecting it to be a small exposure. So, uh, damn, SOS over here. Maybe need to go over over this way. 
So what was it? Yeah. SOG. I'm surprising. It's actually quite a big exposure. So it's this here. This purple has the Mount Bering Dula fault. Uh, Indigo Falls fault. As well as Hell's Hole Creek. So. Uh, and it goes in SOM. So we have the Migmatite down below. We have the nice, and we have some schists. So it's all a really good exposure, and it looks like it's there's Aubrey. It's just south of Wodonga. So oh, I get a bit tired. Well, look, got the I've got the map here on Google. So we need to see if we can actually get access to it because a lot of this is. Okay, so it looks like it's in the actual mountain range. If uh, we go to my crew stat and we can have a look and see. Okay, so if we click on it, Okay, Omeo Metamorphic Complex. So that will be nice. Uh, and yeah, we have the OVM Metamorphic Complex. It's actually quite large. It goes all the way down south. But a lot of this is in the actual mountain ranges. So if we put on uh, satellite. You'll see a lot of this is in forested areas and probably so Bogong remote and natural area. So it's going to be hard to access that location. So you need to, well, Aubrey Redonga. So if we look on the actual map, uh, we see a lot of it is agricultural land. Easier access places, so Indigo Falls. You know, if um, can we see here? Oh, what's that one? Berendula, Duda, granite. So the granite. Uh, and this one is Omeo Complex. Yeah. So this doesn't actually differentiate different. Rocks it, but it says nice granite, nice and migmatite. So I would like to actually go and have a look at that type of material. Obviously, we have more farms, and we're ready. We get this migmatite and nice. A lot of it is. Oh, sorry. Uh, a lot of it is um, forested. Or farmland. So I'd say getting a good exposure is going to be a bit hard. But if you wanted to, so you've got street views, this is how I see if uh, there's any exposures. And then we have a look at put it back to satellite. So around about, yeah, is that about here? So outside of the actual suburban complex, so pretty much here. Need to. So what you do is you just click on there and you see what it comes up with. And while we do have a lot of hills, I don't see any exposure. So it'd be quite nice to live there actually. Maybe go this road. No, it looks quite flat. So you need somewhere where there's been erosion or where there's a road cut. Okay, yeah, so a lot of the times street view actually goes off. And if you click on here, yeah, same thing. Maybe. Maybe somewhere 
So it's going to be hard to actually. Maybe you need to go to this waterfall. Okay, this waterfall does have exposures, but I'm not too sure if it's the actual outcrop that we want. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I would just go to that outcrop and have a look anyway. See what type of rock we have. So, Indigo Falls. It's somewhere around here. I can't. So looking at this patch here, oval patch. So that's it here. So indigo falls is over here, and it's only a metamorphic complex. Yeah, so it's in the in the metamorphic complex, but I'm not too sure if it's a granitic, nice, nice magmatite, or even if it's a schist. So, yeah, anyway, I hope this helps you with uh, your geology in Victoria. Uh, I'm going to change these up. So, basically, yeah, I don't know what I've done there. So, basically, I'm going to change these up. Um, and I'm going to use this geological map. You know, as a basis for outcrops, I would like to actually see. So we did have that metamorphic complex, that nice, that's uh, G176. That's the granite outcrop that we saw. Uh, 176. There's a one. Yeah, 176. That is a little bit off. Uh, Baron Duda granite that we saw before. Okay, and we've got contact aureole schist and horn fowls, and we've got horn fowls. So, wherever you see a. So, this is the horn fowls, but on top of it, we have colluvium. So, obviously, underneath there is. Probably a granite or something. So you can see this in this rock has a horn fellows going around. The same with these ones. But this is recent material placed on top, so obviously the horn fells is not exposed. Um yes. So wherever there is an igneous body, there should be horn fells or some type of metamorphic contact. So contact Oriole Schist. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bed.